Hi, welcome back and welcome to the new flat. I'm getting settled in. Furnitures keep arriving, there's still not much behind me, but over the Christmas break and in January, I hope more things will come and it will become more like home rather than just you know empty space, which is actually quite cool by the way, I quite enjoy it. Today I'm coming with a list of products I currently use and general update on skin whitening because um, it's still a very much part of my regime. And the last video I've done on the subject has been three years ago and it's very overdue an update. I have opened myself up to products that aren't available in Asia. I've discovered a few new things and I'm eager to share them with you today. Clearly there was no better moment to drill. Um, one hour ago wasn't a good moment. Two hours ago also was not a good moment. It had to come to six. I get to say it that skin whitening is not about bleaching. Bleaching isn't healthy, isn't cool, and we're not looking to change the complexion. All we want is the even skin tone. Hyperpigmentation and uneven skin tone is a sign of aging just as much as wrinkles and downward tissue migration. We work for our discolorations all our lives and sometimes things aren't visible straight away. But if we start early and we do little action on a regular basis, then we can definitely address those issues and have a fresh, young looking skin for a long time. Something that I have more understanding of these days is that there are at least four or five groups of ingredients which offer different solution to different way melanin is um, excessively shown on our skin. Ideally, you will have in your skincare at least one ingredient from each group. First group of ingredients inhibit enzymes which are part of the melanin production process, basically blocking the melanin from being produced from the start. And uh, among others, here we have kojic acid and uh, arbutin. I have two kojic acid soaps. They're pretty much the same, just two different brands. And this Yoko little cream, um, which I've sh both of them I've shown many times on the channel and I'm still using them and I'm still loving them. I'm just gonna put my hair up and basically get rid of all the makeup. Essentially you want to strip out everything from your face. The closer the kojic acid gets to your skin, the better the results. I have a soap in my hand now and I wet my hands already. I just lather it. With this you just apply where you want the effect. The leather will sink in pretty quickly and you won't be able to see it. You leave it on for three minutes and then wash it off. You'll notice your skin is squeaky clean. I now follow with my regular skincare. Because it's quite drying, you might have to use like a stronger moisturizer and of course use SPF if you do it in the daytime. When I'm already in the room and I'm ready to go to bed, as the last thing, I apply this Kojic Acid Cream. I'm still using it, it's very effective. I haven't found anything better. If I have something kind of showing, then I just do something like this. And uh, by the morning time, usually it's quite nicely cleared up. I don't ever use it all over my face, I just use it on uh, spots. When it comes to Arbutin, Hadalabo Blue series contains it. This milk is like a moisturizer and I apply it as a last step of my skincare. The second group of ingredients help with spreading the already licked out melanin from melanocytes. By this stopping excessive pigmentation on the surface of the skin. Ingredients that works this way is niacinamide. I don't appear to have this one in any of the cosmetics I currently use, which I need to change. To be honest, I thought Hadalabo contains it, but when I checked the ingredient list, it didn't. The third group of ingredients prevents the tiny invisible inflammations which simulate melanin production. And I don't know how about you, but I never knew this is the case. I didn't know that inflammation can make your melanin get produced excessively. Ingredients like vitamin C, beta-glucon or certain plant extracts can address those invisible inflammations. For vitamin C, I really like this CC Melano Japanese toner. It contains high concentration of vitamin C. I like to transfer the toner into the spray bottle, so it's so easy to apply it this way. You just spray as the first thing 
on your skin after you wash it. The fourth type of ingredients, fight-free radicals, which trigger higher melanin production as a response to stress. This is kind of well-known issue and um, ingredients that help with this are ferulic acid or uh, glutathione which is a peptide and generally certain types of peptides can help with this as well. I recently started incorporating ferulic acid into my skincare. Currently I am testing the ultimate ferulic acid serum by SkinCeuticals. It's a very expensive serum and I couldn't bear to pay for the full bottle. It has this yellowish color and it smells funny, a little bit like popcorn. It is a good serum, I am yet to find a fault in it, but it's too early to say for sure and I still don't know if I'm gonna buy the big bottle because I know there are alternatives that offer the same ingredients just for a way cheaper price. And the fifth type of ingredients, which are my latest discovery because they do not exist in Asia, are the proper AHA and BHA acids, which very properly exfoliate your skin and simulate the new um, cells production. At the start you might see even more freckles or more pigmentation but this is because the outer layer of the, your skin is properly stripped off and you can see what was always underneath. Over time it actually makes your skin look beautiful. These two are truly my latest discovery. They are very highly concentrated EHA, BHA acids. They both come from the ordinary actually and you often ask what I think about the ordinary. In the past I've tried a few products but I could always find better alternatives from Korea or Japan. Koreans and Japanese are learning from us about the high concentration of acids and their marvelous effects on the skin because everything that they have is really gentle and it's like barely there but this was really game changer it pushed my whitening routine into another level first product is the toning solution with glycolic acid 7% is basically a toner and the second product is the 10 minutes exfoliating facial this toner you use in place of your regular toner and only in the evening because you don't have exposure to UV rays overnight and also it shouldn't be mixed with vitamin C and the chances are there are some products in your daytime skincare that contains vitamin C just literally apply it as a regular toner. It beautifully smooths out, tightens the pores, uh, clears the blackheads, clears all the discolorations, all the freckles which kojic acid wouldn't catch and I am super impressed. This facial shouldn't really be used at the same time as the toner so in the day you apply it just skip the other cosmetic. It's quite scary cosmetic to use because it not only is red and looks like blood it also has tons of warnings in the instruction the way to apply it is you basically uh, pick some product on the pump and apply on your skin it's good not to touch the end of this uh, thing to your skin this way it keeps the bacteria out of the bottle you may already start to feel tingling which is good because it means it's working it's really important to keep a record how long you keep it on the skin i start counting from the minute it touches my skin i'm turning the timer for nine minutes instead of ten because i already had it for some time my personal tip for this product i also use it on my back because i had some stubborn spot marks four years ago that i had no idea how to remove and ever since i started applying it on my back they they actually faded away nicely. To wash them both I jump into the shower and I start with the face because it's been longer on my body than the back. The results aren't showing straight away, it seems it needs some time to develop so only in the next day or two I will see the proper brightening effect. I also wanted to say that you shouldn't use it every day, even once a week it's kind of a lot. I use it maybe every two or three weeks to maintain the results. There's like an interesting bit at the end. Um, I cannot say I fully totally recommend it. It's something I have tried and I'm still playing about. This is the pure pearl powder from China I think actually. You can make a mask out of it or use it as a powder. To use it as a face mask you mix a little bit of this with liquid of your choice. I use it with Hada Labo lotion but you can use water, you can use milk, you can use really any 
think that makes this like a mud then you apply it on the face and it actually feels like a mud mask a little bit when you wash it off you do have this brighter kind of cool skin tone effect i don't know if you remember but previously i mentioned about this black pearl mask by my beauty diary which give you this cool white shade of skin and this works in a similar way at the end i want to say a couple of things uh, first off i probably don't need to say that spf is the most effective preventative action against any discolorations even in a cloudy day put the sunscreen on under your makeup and it will save you so many problems later on in life in skin life anyway with this i'm going to wrap it up because my battery is flashing as well it's going to die off in a minute thanks very much for spending time with me today i'm so happy to have you here in my new flat i wish you a nice few days that are coming because christmas are coming i will try to put something up before christmas but we'll see how that's going to be possible and by the way christmas is going to be awful because scotland went into tier four which is like the strictest lockdown <laughs> oh christmas is gonna be ruined i don't know yet what i'm gonna be doing for christmas so we'll see thanks very much guys for your attention see you later and uh, take care bye bye i've got to say it here and i said that in a previous sorry my name is ruining i've got to say it here now bleaching is not healthy not cool not mm, bleaching is not healthy not cool doesn't do anybody any favors